Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Yonsa's Universe. It's me, Yonsa. This is your general December 2021 monthly reading. Ancestors and angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Holy Spirit, please orchestrate these readings. Orchestrate the messages. Remove any and all negativity. Close our doors so no negativity sneaks in. Protect me as I go within the tarot. Return to sender all negativity. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Give me clear on this messages for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for December. Remember, Leo, this is the general energy surrounding you and your person, so it could resonate. Either way, it could be how you or this person is feeling, what you or this person is saying, or what you or this person is doing. This could have happened already. This could be happening currently, or it can happen in the near future, because these messages can be predictive. Only take what resonates. So if I pull multiple cards, only take the card that resonates. If I give multiple messages, only take the message that resonates. Okay? Like, share, like, share subscribe, leave me a love donation. Um, follow me on all my social media, book a personal reading with me. Let's jump into it and get the general energy surrounding you in December. Holy Spirit, what's the general energy surrounding Leo in December 2021? Leo gang, y'all know I'm a Leo. I'm an August Leo. Okay. Wings. You never needed wings to fly and then tree. Let them go. Okay. Let them go. It's burning. You can't save it. You can't save the relationship. You can't save them. You weren't put on this earth to save people from them having to go through their dark night of the soul. Let them go through their dark night of the soul let god handle these people let them go let that relationship go that family or that friend whoever it is that's hurting you that will burn you with them let them go let go of that bad habit okay because you never needed them you never needed them to fly anyway you were doing good without them before you even met them okay you never needed this person these people you never needed those shoes or that car or that watch or whatever whatever materialistic thing anything outside of yourself and god and you know the people who've been there for you day one whoever it is you never needed them okay you never needed any those wings to fly you can fly you don't need any wings Okay, the number eight. Remember, I just said I'm an August Leo. That's eight. August. My birthday is actually August 8th as well. Okay, whatever. Um, you never needed those wings to fly, Leo. It seems like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of self-doubt and criticism. When you tell yourself you can't do whatever you set your mind to, that's what we refer to as negative self-talk. And it's extremely toxic. So this may be your toxic trait, Leo. You always doubt yourself. You always talk bad about yourself. You talk down about yourself. And it's a never-ending cycle of self-doubt. It's a never-ending cycle of self-criticism. Stop doing that to yourself. And stop being so hard on yourself. Okay? Because it's toxic. Just as we expect others to treat us with kindness, we also need to treat ourselves with kindness. A bird can't fly away if you never let it out of its cage. Get out of your cage, get out of your head, get out of telling yourself you can't do it. Because, yes, you can, Leo. Yes, you can. All right? Or maybe this is what your person needs. Your person needs more self-love to know that they're, they can. Or who it could be, whoever in your energy. All right? What is underneath the surface for Leo? What's going on underneath the surface for Leo? December 2021. My nose started itching as soon as I did started doing Leo. What's underneath the surface? Regrets. You have a lot of regrets and your and it's caused your self-esteem to be low. This is why you always tell yourself you can't. You need to build your self-esteem. Forgive yourself of that regret. It says, I know that I can't change the past. Okay, know that you can't change the past. Live live for today. Look forward to the future. Build your self-esteem. 
Okay, it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So know that you are worth it. Know that you are important. Stop doubting yourself and talking bad about yourself to tell yourself that you're not good enough. Okay, because you are. You never needed those wings to fly. No more um, bad talking yourself. No more regret. And it could be based off of these relationships that you have with people, relationships you have with um, your partner, all about them not accepting you. You got to start accepting yourself and make that change that you need to make within yourself. Love yourself so that others can love you as well. Okay? You've been in denial and you're too prideful to admit it. That, that's because anytime adversity comes your way or challenges come your way, you're impatient and you just say, you know what, it's fine. I don't deserve it. I don't do this. And you decide not to speak up for yourself. You decide to just let people run over you. You talk bad about yourself. I'm getting someone who'll talk bad about themselves so that no one else can. They can't. They can't handle if anybody else talks bad about them, so they talk bad about themselves. Did y'all hear the sirens that just went off as soon as I said that? All right, let's take a look at your money. Remember, the general energy is you never needed those wings to fly. Just do it, Leo. Okay? No more negative self-talk because it's becoming toxic and it's weighing you down. No more. Let's take, Holy Spirit, let's take a look at Leo's money, career, and finances, please. What's going on for Leo and their money? Leo. Brown Bear Spirit. Take time out. So maybe you may need to take a break uh, soon. Maybe in the past. You had to learn that overworking yourself is never the answer. Maybe, t you know, in the past you learned that you need to take a time out. You may be going through this now, okay? Maybe you feel like you're overworked and like, I need to take a break just to recuperate. Or in the future, you may find yourself, your life is speeding up. You, you don't have enough time to rest. You're um, overworking. So remember, even in the future, to take time out to rest. Take time out, brown bear spirit. Okay, you could like bears. Okay, this is the number nine. Okay, for your career and finances, we have wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Sometimes life hurts. Sometimes, you know, things don't go our way. Okay, that, but keep, pick yourself back up again. Okay? Maybe you didn't get the job you wanted. Maybe you didn't get the um, pay rate you wanted. Maybe you didn't get the promotion you wanted. But I feel like it will happen in the right time. Sometimes life stings. Sometimes it does. Sometimes things happen. But that doesn't mean give up. That doesn't mean talk bad about yourself. Okay, butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. That change is beautiful. Becoming a new version of yourself is beautiful. Okay? Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. This and that are true, so know what's true for you. Dove spirit, be peace. So your money, career, and finances is all based about how you feel about yourself. Overworking yourself is never the answer, like we said. So take some time out. Sometimes, um, you know, with money, career, and finances, you may take a hit. Sometimes life stings. And sometimes you may have to work a little harder to bounce back, okay? But making the changes necessary... It's really going to help you in your money and career and finances because you're going to be finding out some truths that's really going to help you hone into what the best work ethic and the best workflow for you. And it's going to bring forth a lot more peace, be peace. Okay, so you, the way that you work is not going to be as chaotic anymore. It's not going to be as stagnant, stagnant anymore either. Anything else for Leo's money? Okay. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. So I get you, I get you could be going, you could be getting a raise or a promotion. And there are things that you're learning that you have to, you know, be able to pick up the pace, think quick on your feet, turn knowledge into wisdom. Okay, you are, you already know the game. You already know how to, um, you already know the game. You already know the flow. You already know the rhythm of this, um, uh, 
of this money. So you'll be able to roll with whatever comes at you. I do see opportunity for more money, but this opportunity may cause for you to think quick on your feet. What's going on in Leo's love life? Damn, I'm already at 10 years. What the hell have I been talking about? <laughs> I'm just playing. I get so passionate when I get in y'all readings, Leo. The time just goes by so fast, okay? What's going on in Leo's love life? What's this energy surrounding Leo's love life in December 2021? Leo. Leo. Thank you. You deserve love, Leo. Yes, you do. You are lovable. No more bad talk. No more um, uh, talking bad about yourself. No more self-hate. None of that. You got to love yourself. You are lovable. Look, I just said you have to love yourself. At the bottom of the deck, it says you love yourself first. You have to. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So saying no makes you more attractive. Okay? Saying yes to things that are good for you, that won't hurt you in the long run, is attractive as well. So making the best decisions for yourself is attractive. You deserve love. You deserve to be confident enough to do what's best for you and not doubt it and not worry about what other people are going to think about it. Love yourself first because you are lovable. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So that's the energy surrounding your love life. Respecting yourself is making you more attractive to people. And you are, you deserve love. And it's, it's like, okay, the energy that you feel is like, I deserve love and I deserve love done the right way. I don't, what you've shown me or the energy I get off of from you, you, I don't feel like you can love me. I'm not going to waste my time with you. Okay. This is really you being able to save yourself the heartache, save yourself the pain because you've boosted your self-esteem. No more hating yourself. You love yourself now. Now other, that energy is being put out in the universe and it's coming back to you. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. And the universe is showing you this internally and showing you this outwardly and externally in your um, atmosphere and in your surroundings. Okay, what else could be going on for Leo in December? For Leo, for Leo, please. We got the Ten of Wands. You could be working yourself too hard. Or these are those um, burdens that you have to let down. Whatever burden it is, you were overworking yourself. Whatever burden it is, could be it could be doubt. It, oh, um, whatever burden it is, it could be not believing in yourself. Okay? Look, I see you going through a whole complete transformation. We go from the Ten of Wands to the Page of Wands. A lot more lighthearted. No more... Um, no more picking up and carrying people's problems that are not yours. These are not your responsibilities. These are not your problems. You don't have to babysit these grown people. Okay? I see you deciding to go on a vacation. I see you changing your hair. Possibly even changing your name. Okay? Getting a new job. Moving into a new place. This is you completely changing who you are. I get some of you are telling people that you're younger than what you really are. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. You feel younger. Now that you finally release these burdens, release these people. Anything else going on for Leo? Yeah, look at you. You went from the Ten of Wands to the Empress. All of this hard work that you put in is coming back to you tenfold, I hear. Some of you could have just had a baby because this is a child right here as well you could be dealing with an aries leo sag sun moon rising or venus and you could be dealing with a taurus or a libra sun moon rising or venus okay you've learned everything that you could learn with who with, with these people you see these people for who they truly are all they do is end up in conflict and defeat you don't want to do that anymore it's brought too much imbalance to your life you don't want to do that anymore okay so with the ten of wands i see that you I see also you've been um someone has been pissing you i get this energy if someone has been pissing you off 
And you've just been holding it in, holding it in, holding it in. You know what? I'm going to push through. It's not that important. What they say cannot affect me. But it's like you get to the point to where it's like, you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough. Okay? And you're like, you know what? I'm going to say what's on my mind with the Page of Wands. I'm going to be lighthearted about it. But hey, it don't have to be like this. And this really shows that you love yourself and respect yourself with the Empress. Because the Empress loves herself first. And this is why the Empress is so lovable. Everyone loves the Empress. Okay, and this is a whole new cycle in your life where everyone loves you. That's what I feel. Okay, but this is self-love. There are no cups out here. This is self-love as well. Clarify the Ten of Wands. I don't want to be here too long. Queen of Cups. There it is. You love yourself. It took all of this hard work. It took all of the, these life lessons for you to finally love yourself. And you don't want to put yourself through that again. Clarify the Page of Wands. Yeah, the King of Wands. You went from the page to the king. You went from a student, a child. Now you're a full, mature adult. You've been, you've been around the block. Okay? People really are attracted to you. They fawn over you. They want to be in your energy. They want to be in your presence. They want to be in your surroundings. We have the king and the queen of cups. So I do see a relationship or a connection, and it could um, happen at work, or it could start off at work. It could be in regard to you could be talking to someone about monetary things, and it turns to something more. Get Talking to someone about money, and it turns to something more. I see that your self-love is going to put you in the position to be in the relationship that you've been wanting. Clarify the Empress. In the relationship you've been wanting may, may not be with that person that you think it's with. It's with, it's with the person that God has for you. The Empress. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, Big Daddy mm-hmm yeah it's with big daddy it's or it's with big mama okay we got three kings out here king of wands king of cups king of pentacles this is no more page energy no more doubting yourself no more hating yourself no more regret getting out of your pride and ego knowing that you don't need to hate yourself you don't need to dislike these things about yourself none of that your money looks great as well. King of Pentacles and the Empress, you're the boss. Or people people see that you have potential to be a leader. You have potential to be a shift lead. You have potential to be a manager. You have potential to be a manager or an HR. Clarify the world card for Leo. Two of Wands, you're moving in a whole different direction away from them people and some of these people are sick about it some of these people as soon as you move away from them you're going to see their true colors as soon as you move away from them god is going to show you exactly why they were not meant for you exactly why you didn't fit in with them exactly why this relationship didn't work god is going to show you exactly why and you're going to be like thank you god this did not work thank you god i didn't end up in a relationship with them thank you god Okay. Show me one thing about Leo's person that Leo doesn't know. Show me one thing about Leo's person that Leo doesn't know. Now, this could be a person from the past, the person you're currently with, or this future person coming into your life. Show me one thing about Leo's person that Leo does not know. Okay, opportunity knocks. Go for it. Okay, whoever this person is, they're going to be shooting your shot. Past person, current person, or new person. They're going to go for it. Okay, opportunity knocks. Someone could be literally knocking at your door but there's going to be an opportunity for something okay this okay this past person could be an opportunist but i see this uh new person they want to go for it they want to give this a chance okay this person is open to new possibilities to expand their potential 
okay so there's a new opportunity coming your way and coming this person's way and i think this is what's going to bring you two together this is all that i have for you leo thank you so much for coming back to my channel oh yeah spirit said that this person could um this person could be a psychic just like you it's something something spiritual that you do they do it as well okay this is all i have for you leo thank you so much for coming back to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe you can leave me a comment leave me a love donation to my paypal or cash app only take what resonated with you if anything didn't resonate check all the other readings i have for you and you can look forward to the um new readings that i'll be posting soon until i see you next time you guys be safe i love you Bye bye